I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. Okay, Ryuki. All right, let's keep going. Next question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half these spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? If you know the answer, spit it out. What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Push it and you get to answer the question. How about this? I'll repeat the question for you, okay? In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? 
Now remember, the other teams can press their buttons too if they know the answer. It's that button right on top of your table. That's the answer button for the quiz. Why don't you press it? Tava, you mean this button? Yeah. You'd better hurry or the other teams are going to answer before you. There we go. Team Popo was the quickest. And your answer is... That is correct! The answer is Gandharva. Team Popo gets 10 points for the correct answer. Good job, Ryuki. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Uh, what? No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. This question. Is for that person on the other side. Oh, who was that? You think so? Seems like a normal quiz to me. Yes. Yes. The questions in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Ryuki. They're for you. On the other side. I don't understand what you're saying. Hurry now, your answer, please. This is the Faith to Face Special, a six-hour quiz show live stream marathon. Have you forgotten? The question is whether or not you're familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings. Easy, right? Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do, I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings, the incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Are you or are you not familiar with it? This is the to if we can dig into the details of that incident in the coming six days. In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. But don't worry. 
Even if you don't know anything about them, it won't affect how you progress through this game. So please, just tell me honestly, are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killing? Are you sure? Don't be lying now. Let's give you a simple test just to make sure. The one who resolved the new Cyclops serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Who was that someone? No need to give me their last name, first name only. just gotten lucky. How about we go for one more round? Who is the true culprit of the new Cyclops serial killings? Answer with just the first name again, please. Let's have it. Sorry for doubting you. You really do know about the new Cyclops killings. Oh, did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be the last. Are you ready? A precognitive dream is a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams, are they really? Truly real.
Be careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. Three o'clock, distance of 315 feet, in the middle row of seats. Been stranger if they announce their intentions first. Who's the target? Where are they? It's too dark and they're too far away. Calm down, Mizuki. You can use my functions. Functions? Remember your training? Oh, right. Roger that. If you have no worries, I could advise you on. Hmm. You wanted to see me, hmm? That is nice. If you have any other worries, you should come back here. I will give you better answers than you expect. Bye for now. Oh. 
me! It's dress-up time! a living organism. They must be hiding somewhere. Use the x-ray next. Understood. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Why else would another girl target me? You can't think of any other reason? Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? That's why other girls don't like me much. I'm fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Mizuki, load Evolva with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. Okay, it's ready. I will display the aiming medical. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it! What's with this girl? Detecting the target's footsteps. They seem to be heading toward the stadium exit. Ugh, can't let them get away! Mizuki, wait. Even you won't be able to catch up to them. More importantly... There's... something there. Yes. You recognize him? Yeah. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... The left half of his body. His name is Jin Furue. I remember it clearly. Six years ago. At Studio Devita. The... Right half of his body. Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Boss, where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> <laughs> Ryuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the straight and corneum off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryuki. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Now that Mr. Ryuki is away, let's get back to it, shall we? Here we go, next question. Which Taoist symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, represents the origin of all things? What the? 
A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Yeah, I'm on it! It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However... There aren't any footprints. Indeed. Then how did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky, or rose up from the ground. Or... They teleported here. Teleported? I was joking. Do not take it seriously. Oh, no. I just started investigating, really. Weird, though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago, but the body shows up now? <laughs> nah. The lining has eating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Devita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB case. She is referring to the half-body serial killings. So named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it.
Of course not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sekiba High. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a sinker. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. Ugh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. I have to. This case is... Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Fine. But promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Do you? Why? What is it? Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. And has been missing ever since. Date's body was never recovered from the scene. Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace, spending his time in leisure. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. bad feeling about this, but you really want to know my name? Yeah. Then I'll tell you, but please don't forget it, okay? Got it. My name is Kagami. Hmm. Kagami, huh? Okay, I'll remember that. I've finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. Of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Um... Sorry, don't remember. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. In a good way? Abyss is a high-level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. Huh. Really? But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you? Do you want to get your ass kicked? Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. I don't even have to ask about you. Yamizuki Okiura, 18 years old, a high schooler attending Sekiba High. The all-girls school, right? Ah, but Okiura is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I 
remember correctly, you were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent, Oedipus. That boss lady got her claws in you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. Huh. Guess they'll take anyone they can get. Times sure have changed. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra-legal measures. I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? You were also at the studio six years ago when the other half was found. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said, HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half-body serial killings. I need to know more about that case. Changed my life forever. So that's why I came. found anything yet, though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. The footprints? Bingo. There isn't a single footprint on the field that doesn't belong to someone here. So just how did the culprit do it? Who sent the message? I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I... don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? And why did she try to kill you? get the more shocking facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. What? Nine hours ago? It is currently nine o'clock, so that would mean he was killed around twelve. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Six years ago, I... Hold that thought. There's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. What do you mean? Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Then what was it? As I said, I do not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. There is hardly any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location.
Would you like to check the corpse with x-ray mode? Yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. Hmm. In that case... How's this? Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. That's... definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah. The same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divita. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Six years ago, Jin Furue's body was discovered in Studio Devita. And now, his left half was found here at the stadium. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today, which means that half his body was alive very recently. What the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Iba? Hold on, did Iba just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. That half-body was definitely alive until just recently. I, of course, did consider it a possibility. But both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together? No, there are no traces of that. And... Were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? I have no idea what's going on. But this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half-body case isn't over yet. Hey, Aiba, how much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. 
Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho.
Wow, I like... I like you a lot. It's fine. Dress me as you please. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. What are you doing standing there? Neil. Maybe I'll get some fancy fake glasses, like the kind that great authors wear. I hope you don't end up looking like those middle-aged guys that drink in the middle of the day.
What's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Show. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nihil message that read, Sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home. But the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. Hmm, well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Uchisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live-streamed quiz show? Oh, you mean Chinpei. Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members, until just recently. Was? Yeah, he went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Does she look okay to you? I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. Teleportation. What? That body teleported here from a parallel world. But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was split in half. <sighs> Jeez. Mizuki Date. 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. I don't know. I'm not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magura right now. Pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. 
When are you letting me leave anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask. So... Of course. Jin Furroway, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like fight to set free. Hmm. I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was Andy's Kamechi, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I'd never heard of him before. He must not be very good. Oh! And I suppose you can do better, asshole! What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy! And here you are, just... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? This is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face, our special six-hour livestream marathon, brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan, or even the world, tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. They're being questioned by the police in the waiting room. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Well, yes. I'm sorry. It's just that I had a bad experience. I try not to tell people my name. Then I'll tell you instead. His name is Kagami. Kagami? Huh. Huh? How did you know? Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Twitter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He's insightful, inspiring in a way. Well... What? You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid! What do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body! So? So? Well, you... you could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. A anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> Fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. Today is February 10th. Current time 2200. 
which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result. Leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. Please! Don't rush me! I'm doing the best I can! Looks like he's just standing there to me. Yeah. Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe, but... It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? I feel like you aren't exactly sound of mind right now. <laughs> we work in the same building and you don't know my name. Can't blame you though. You're new. Metro PD Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half-body being found. Hell, maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time and space to get here. It's possible, right? No? Huh. I already know all about you. No need to say it. Kurito Ryuki, 23 years old. Due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades at an elite private university and graduated at 21. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boss. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Yeah, Boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. What are you talking about? Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other very much... You don't have to explain it! I get it! What's with that QR code? The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. Why 
Why? Why does this keep happening? Is my name cursed or something? The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furway, 29 years old. The CEO of Music Food Co. LTD. He's also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see it from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? It's an enlarged picture of Jin's temporal region, near the back of his head. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Someone hit him from behind? Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. Ryuki, I've got a connection! The QR code link. It leads to a ViewCube page. ViewCube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. wrong, Ryuki? Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me.
Oh, it's Brahmin. You are familiar with it? Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in. It's a picture of Ganesha, the Hindu god. Ganesha is worshipped as the god of wealth, especially by merchants. Jin Furue's other half was found. The other side of his corpse. The one we couldn't find six years ago. The time of his death was around 12 o'clock today. What do you think that means? Answer me, Ryuki! You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? <sighs> Make it a side part, please. Ugh. Just what kind of dream is he having? I know! Should we try wink sinking? Forget it. It'd just be a waste of battery. <laughs> They're gone. Where to? I don't know. Maybe to the mirror world? What? Geni, being this man? Full name, Gen Ishiagane. I met him several times in the past when I was in Date's left eye socket. Yeah, Genny is the owner of this fusion restaurant, Brahmin. He runs it all by himself without hiring any help. But where could he be? It's not like him to leave his customers like this. Ryuki, please, tell me about six years ago. I want to know all about what happened back then. The HB case and the explosion are related. If I can solve the HB case, maybe I can figure out where he is. I'll take a double shochu curry shot. This is futile, Mizuki. Ryuki's blood alcohol level is 0.32%. He is quite intoxicated. <sighs> In fairness, the reason he's like this now is because of that incident. He had psychological issues before, but the events of the case deepened his condition. As you can see, he now spends his days drowning himself in alcohol. 
So if we solve this case, we might be able to heal his trauma? It's possible. Then it's all the more reason for him to help. For his own sake, too. Still, I doubt he would wake up even if you cut his eyelids off. What will you do? Isn't it obvious? I'll sync with him. Come on, Ryuki. Wake up! Hey! I said, wake up! Oh, look! A porno mag! Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work on Ryuki. I suspect Date would have woken up instantly. Come on, big brother! Wake up! Wake up! If you don't hurry, you're gonna be late! He is awake? Nurse, pour some soy sauce on me, please. What? Right down the middle. Mizuki, I think you're wasting your time trying to talk to him. He's so soaked in alcohol, you could light his breath on fire with a match. Yo, Ryuki, get up! Ah, uh, careful, Mizuki. If you wake him up now, we'll be the ones mopping up the mess. Creepy girls used to climb out of those things in the old days. Creepy girls? That's right. Or was it just one girl? If you copy the tape, is there more than one girl? Or maybe one is real and the rest are clones? They didn't do a good job of explaining it. Either way, it's creepy! I'm still here. I've always been here. Hey, did you hear something? <sighs> yes, that's the cleaning lady. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Wait, you didn't see her at the stadium? I did, but she's not back yet? 
Of course not. This is Boss we're talking about. She's probably at a host club in Kabukicho, licking the salt off her third tequila shot right about now. I know. I got the report. Jin Furaway's right half was found in Studio Divita six years ago. The other half was found at the stadium today, correct? But the corpse's estimated time of death was around 12 today. No signs of the body having been frozen. And Jin doesn't have any twins. The theory of the right and left half belonging to different people was debunked earlier, too. What do you mean? We got the DNA results. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. The right half was found six years ago on February 10th. Today is also February 10th. What could it mean? Mizuki, do you really intend to sync with him? Would it be a problem because he's drunk or something? No, but what I mean is... You haven't gotten permission from Boss, have you? I understand how you feel, Mizuki. I'm sure you want to solve the HB case more than anyone. After all, you lost two very precious things due to that incident. Date, of course, and... Your left eye. At least we didn't have to extract your eye to insert the AI ball. There was nothing left to extract. I am glad the room was vacant. I don't do well with roommates. Listen, you shouldn't delve too deeply into this case. I have a very bad feeling about all this. Don't worry. Boss didn't technically give me permission to sink, but she did assign the investigation to me. Are you sure about this? Yeah. There will be no turning back. I know. I see. Then let's get started. What happened six years ago? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Stay there any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed into the subject's mind. I got it. This isn't my first time sinking, you know. Okay then, let's begin. been practicing. How's my dancing? Yeah, looking good. Wriggling around like a freshly caught shrimp. Oh, no. Not you two. I'm too cute to be a shrimp. Hey, listen. Now's no time for a dance number. We have an investigation to handle. Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. I felt compelled. Oh, Mizuki, do you know your way around Somnia? If you are assigned to this case, you will be sinking many times, I'm sure. Would you like a refresher? <laughs> yeah, sure. A little refresher course couldn't hurt. Not that I need it or anything. Understood. I will be ready to assist you when the time comes.
Got it. Thanks. All right, then. This desk and camera are from the interrogation room. But there's no walls or ceiling. What am I supposed to do in a place this bare? Well, before anything... Somnium scan! Activate! This layer of Ryuki's Somnium appears to have three mental locks. So I gotta unlock those, right? Correct. By doing so, you can travel deeper into his psyche. The truth is found in the deepest layer. Okay, I'll start with this room first. Right. There isn't much to interact with, but there must be a way to continue. Folding chair. Same as the kind in the interrogation room. Try sitting on it. There. Oh! What? Ryuki! Mizuki, now is your chance to question him.
Ryuki, I am sure your mother watching you from heaven doesn't want to see you like this. Just let it all out. It will make you feel better. This isn't working. We need to ask him more directly. Don't make your mother cry, Ryuki! You can atone for your sins. And when we are done here, we can visit her grave. How does that sound? I think you're enjoying this way too much. Mizuki, you cannot get away with this just because you're a member of law enforcement. According to Criminal Law Entry 195, Special Civil Assault, you can be punished for abuse of authority. Chill, we're in a dream. It's fine. Hmm. Well, at this rate, we won't get anything out of him. Wake up! <sighs> fine. Screw it! Guess I'll just do what has to be done! That's enough! You're violating criminal law entry 195! Ryuki, can you tell me what you know about the HB case? Why do you keep making me remember? Damn it! Damn it! I was so close to finally forgetting! Please... Stop! Aiba? But you okay? Yeah, it just got really bright. What was that explosion? That blue thing. Is it an eyeball? Ryuki, do you know the culprit? Do you? What is this? Wait, it's a reverse sync. What? Ryuki's consciousness is flowing into your brain, Mizuki. Mr. Date's house. What is this? Soup? Do you know the culprit? I... The culprit's name... I don't know, I don't know. Intrusion thwarted. We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. So is everything okay? It should be, but it is peculiar. Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind. But for some reason, the subject's consciousness was able to slip into your mind. But you should be fine now. We have blocked the root of intrusion. We are reconnecting to Ryuki's mind via another path. That's good. But why did that happen?